Hello friends, so this video is based on a query I received recently and the query was like I the results the first year results was 3c uh, by doing hard work can I get 3 is that was the query so I believe the results were released maybe a week ago this last Sunday I believe so whether you can get 3 a's or not that's the query so okay I don't I personally don't like to be negative so let's be positive if that's what you want yeah you can you can achieve it so believe that you can and you'll definitely achieve it so in order to achieve that what you can do so if you take my case personally i also got selected to medical faculty i also got three years in my second attempt not in my first attempt so in my first attempt i got a two b's and there was some sort of work uh, which i did for my first attempt so, I mean, I understood the concepts, I studied, uh, but I didn't do many practice questions as I mentioned in one of my previous videos. Uh, for my second attempt, then again, I wouldn't say I worked hard. My second attempt uh, was the classes began at January 2019, I believe, because the results were released in 2018, December last week, around 27th or 28th. And I started my classes in January and the exam was held on 2019 August so therefore I had about seven months but I wouldn't say that I utilized that seven months completely and I put my hard work the hard work was for about three to four weeks about a month not more than that but in my case I was having said this I was following the classes right from the beginning I went to my bio class, I went to my chemistry class, physics class. So I, there was some sort of a revision. Though I didn't put my effort, there was some sort of a revision. And again, I got A2Bs for my first attempt. So I understood the concepts, I know that. But there was no much practice. But this time when I was going and following my second attempt for the classes, there was some sort of revision. And also afterwards, like last month, when I was working, I was mainly focusing on papers, past papers. So that some sort of helped me and I got through it. And I was, I managed to get three A's. Again, I was not able to score a very good Z score and all. But somehow I managed to enter medical faculty. I got selected to Moratu Medical Faculty and now I am in my second year. I'm going to complete my second year. So for your query a person's query uh, this might be suitable for many of you because the results were released last week around the, this last sunday and many of you might not have started studying and now suddenly once the results are released you might think of studying and i don't know when the the next exam is according to the query the query was whether i can do hard work and get three years in three months so maybe your exam would be in another three months so let's think that we can so to achieve this first you have to believe yourself so have faith in yourself believe that you can do it so first believe i can do it then you'll definitely even though you if even though if you're unable to get three years you'll definitely see progress so first believe because when you're stressed you can't score well you can't study well even the normal things which you usually do you will not be able to do so don't get stressed don't be uh, negative be positive believe that you can get three A's. and afterwards start doing papers uh, don't go and start reading your notes and all start doing papers so how you can do this is i believe you you should be a student from 2021 so take the 2020 al paper I, in my example, I'll use biology as an example, but you can do the same for chemistry and physics as well. So if you take the biology pass paper, you have MCQs. I believe there are 50 MCQs and then there are four structure questions and four essay questions. So what you have to do is take your MCQ paper. Look, uh, take a look at the first question and see whether you can answer it. Afterwards, think of the topic. For example, let's say the first question is based on enzymes. So think whether you can recall the topic, what were the subtopics, what points were included, try to actively recall that topic. So if you can remember that particular topic, 
that means you are okay if not go to your notes you have your, you must be having your notes go to your notes and just uh, check whether you have missed any points which points you are missing you know that sort of thing just go and check your notes so now you will have a complete idea on that particular topic so now even though they give some other questions related to that topic you will be able to answer it so just don't stop answer uh, stop with that question go for the topic so recall the topic not just the answers for that question not just understanding why this answer was given for this question you should also think of the complete topic repeat the same thing for the rest of the questions go through the topic and uh, try to actively recall afterwards you can't just you know recall and then forget it so if you are studying this topic or uh, revising this topic today like let's say after two days recall recall and try to remember things whether you can remember it or not if not just go to notes and uh, see which points you are missing what if you can remember that's really good so this way you should keep recalling things till you face your next exam so likewise first start with 2020 AL paper you should do the same for chemistry and physics as well uh, try to answer the question with see whether you will be able to answer any other questions related to the same topic for example in chemistry and physics you know related to same topic uh, see whether you can recall the theory and then see whether you will be able to answer any other question related to this topic you might be having some other questions related to that topic so just try to work out those topics and do this do those stuff afterwards uh, after you have completed 2020 paper do the same for biology chemistry and physics afterwards go for 2019 AL paper try and see whether you can do it then 2018 likewise go up to 2013 let's say 2012 or 13 you do not need to do uh, you know very old papers because that's not of uh, much use so just uh, go through these papers new past papers that will be a great help so after doing all these things you must be ha you know covered so many topics related to your syllabus so after you have done this now see which topics you have not covered because sometimes there might be some topics which were not questioned at all for let's say about uh, 10 years so, so then see which topics are not covered in those papers so maybe those are not of much importance because let's say for 10 years one question was not asked in the sense then that's not that important right so then you know just go through those topics as well you don't know you might get that question in that topic so just go through those topics as well if you can uh, try to go to some other past papers like let's say you got, you stopped with 2013 then try to go and see whether uh, any question related to that topic was asked in 2012 11 or 10 papers just see and try to uh, work out and try to answer those questions if though if a question related to that topic is in the previous papers uh, try to uh, see the paper try to see how they have questioned and based on that you study the topic so this way you will have a complete idea of the topics and as you're actively recalling you will remember stuff as well so by doing this you'll definitely see progress and of course let's believe that you can definitely get three years whatever you result whatever results you got for your uh, first attempt so having said all these things i hope this is a useful video for many of you all and i have to add the last important point for structures and essays please do answer the questions like sometimes you can think and say okay i can remember all the topics but you know for structure and essay you know you get only three hours and that is just adequate just adequate so because of that you have to practice you have to write and practice because you have to suddenly go and write uh, in your uh, final exam it would be hard so just keep writing keep practicing and later you can even time and see so related to how you can work on during the last months nearing to your exam i have made a video i definitely share the uh, link with you all so you can uh, go through that video as well to get a complete idea again yeah if you have any other queries please do uh, let me know by 
posting your views and whatever in the comment section as i am a little busy these days i'll not be able to make educational videos for this particular month october i am also having my barrier exam afterwards i'll definitely upload many videos because i'll be free uh, for about one or two months so during that time i am uh, planning to make many videos uh, mainly related to a levels a level biology so uh, thank you so much for supporting me for this long and i hope you will be able to understand my situation and this is because i thought this is something uh, really necessitating because uh, there is uh, only three months for the exam so i didn't want to delay anymore so th therefore i thought i should make a video immediately so that's why i am posting this hope this is useful thank you so much take care